Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making um, an easy lasagna. This lasagna is a, a recipe that I've seen um, on Facebook um, made by a Māori girl named Nix Adams. This is an easy um, lasagna and I thought my nephew Rico, his mum tells me that lasagna is one of his favourite foods. So I thought, that's an easy peasy lasagna to make. So I thought, I'll make it as well, so Rico can enjoy it, okay? So the ingredients is there. Okay guys, this is the pasta, the cream, the sauce, the tomato paste, grated cheese, I use the tasty cheese, mixed herbs, um, chicken seasoning, uh, vegeta, and I've got mints. You'll need like some water with it too, guys, because you want to add a bit of water. But here we go, we're gonna cook it now. Welcome back, guys. So we're gonna get this the ball rolling. I already uh, heated up my pan, but I have a half an onion that I'm gonna chop up, okay? Um, I already boiled my water. So um, it can go for the pasta, okay? So I'll just get the onion chopped up and this is for the mince. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I think I'll get one of the garlics. But I'll make it with the, um, the jar garlic, okay? So... I've got to boil the pasta as well. So I'm going to boil the pasta and then put it aside so it can be put into the uh, mint sauce. I've got a, a piece of butter. Okay. And I'm putting in all the onions. This is to fry the mint up. Okay. So this is just preparing some extra flavor for the mix. Yeah, I saw Nix. She put a hole on top of the jar, right? So she can open it. <laughs> oh, I was open. I was just training for nothing. Oh, stop it. Now in this, I'm going to put a, a heap of um, garlic. And then I'm going to put the mint in. And that will stop the garlic from spilling everywhere. Because the garlic, if it's from a jar, it just likes to spit sometimes, so rude, I know. Yeah, so when the mince is all nice and brown, guys, that's when I'm ready to put all my sauces in and uh, other bits and pieces. Water now is uh, boiling away. So uh, this is the pasta I got, guys. These little, see the curly curly ones? Yeah. So put it all in here. The whole thing. So now I'm going to put two teaspoons of the baguette. Okay. Okay. So that'll give it its salt and more flavor. I'm going to put at least like two tablespoons of the mixed herb, okay? Because it gives it all that lovely flavor, okay? Yeah, that's roughly about two tablespoons of mixed herbs. Smells good already. Got to put the sauce. Okay. You can put a little bit of water in it. Yeah. 
just to get a bit more of that sauce in it. And then you want to um, squeeze some of this tomato paste in. Now I'm going to give it a taste and see if it tastes um, like it's got enough. I think I want to put pepper in it. It's like it's almost cooked through. Okay, I'm going to put it inside the mince. Stir it all in the mince. And then the parts is going to suck up all the liquid that's in there. Now I'm going to be making the white sauce to go on top of this. Okay. So I'll put that aside. So I've heated up the pot and I'm putting in this butter and the onions. And a teaspoon of garlic. Cook through the, um, the onion and garlic. before putting in the flour. There's a tablespoon, a heap of tablespoon, okay. I'm warming up the cream and milk. So I think I've got a, a cup and a half of the cream and milk, it's only a small jar of cream. So stir this to thicken the, the white sauce. So I'm putting two of the vegeta. You can put some more um, mixed herb in this or more flavor that you want to put in there but I'm just going with um, this white sauce that's all with a bit of cheese I'm putting a handful of cheese in here mm -hmm. and then you stir it in see look mmm um, once the cheese has melted, guys, you turn it off, okay? Then you have a taste and see if everything tastes good. This is how thick you sort of want it. Because as it gets cool, it does uh, set. I'm going to taste the sauce and see if it's um, got enough salt. Take a taste, guys. Yummy. See, the pasta has uh, dried up and sucked up all the liquid that's in there, but it's still moist, guys. So let's put the white sauce on so we can bake it sauce and you pour it over the mince okay. and now what you want to do is top it up with some grated cheese If 
you like a lot of cheese, you put a lot of cheese. And if you don't, yeah, you don't have to. But this just makes the, the topping look lovely. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to bake it in the oven till the top is lovely and brown. So while I'm waiting for the lasagna to get brown, I'm just going to have me a soufflé. I made soufflé this morning. Okay. <clears throat> Someone's just clearing their throat. I think he's trying to hint that he wants some. Okay, soufflé. Yeah, we had some um, so, uh, bananas that was a bit on the dark side, so I thought, I've got Seiko here. I'll make it. Okay, here it goes. Mm -hmm. That's what the soufflé looks like. Take a bite. Yummy. I put a, a bit of condensed milk in this um, sorbet. When you have a whole lot of bananas, you don't need any sweetener. But I like to put condensed milk in just for the flavour. Yum, me. <laughs> And there we have it, guys. All cooked and all ready to eat. Well, you have to let it settle. There, I'll give you a close up. There we go. I'm going to dish me um, just a little bit so I can show you guys how good it looks. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's good if you let it sit. But because I know you guys are all waiting, I'm going to get me a spoon. It looks so good, guys. Look at that. Look at that. I better make it a little bit smaller because I do not want to get burnt. Take a bite, guys. Yum. Yum. Next, Adams, thank you very much for your recipe. This should be um, enticing a lot of people to make this for their children. It's very easy um, and very delicious too. Take one more bite, guys, before I finish it all. This might change me from not enjoying lasagna to enjoying lasagna. Thank you, Next Adams. And thank you guys for watching, joining me on making this for the first time it's really look look it's got all the flavor of lasagna yummy the easiest lasagna ever yummy mm -hmm. i did my prayer so anyone that might think that I didn't, I did. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy. Don't forget to make this for your kids or yourself or to take, if there's a get together, you make it and you turn up and they gotta go, yum, who made this? And then you say, me. Yummy. Fat guy. I think my husband might want some. I know you want some? Yes, please. <laughs> the I'm, I'm sick today. No. 
Okay, I'm gonna make Tangaroa some, and then VK, when he gets home, he's gonna be all happy because this is one of his favorite meals to eat. Bye, guys, take care. God bless. So, I'm um, asking Elvis. To give us verdict. You like no. it? Mm. Huh? Nice. Any more? No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 10 out of 10, 5 out of 10. What is it? 11 out of 10. Oh, mm -hmm. extra bonus. Mm -hmm.